Love the show. Not done with it yet. Love the show. It's great. Wonderful. But, um, uh, let's just get into it, okay? Number one, um, Joan is obsessed with marriage. Sis is obsessed with getting married, walking down the aisle, having kids. I understand she's 29 and she thinks that she's supposed to have all of these things together before 30 or by 30 or in her early 30s but sis you cannot come to every man you meet within the first three days to the first month and be like oh so when are we getting married because he don't even know you sis you don't know him and then what's crazy what's crazy is that they they end up running away because it's like dang i just wanted us to date um for her she already has said in her mind what she wants to do what she wants to get married things like that that's cool but every relationship does not lead to a marriage every relationship does not lead to a marriage yeah 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 okay cool number two lynn sis you mooching you have five degrees you got one bachelor's two three masters and you about to get your doctorate great we love black women getting their degrees getting well, what you doing? You on, you sleeping in John house, sleeping at Tony house, sleep, sleeping at William house. You at everybody house. Then when you about to get an apartment, you punk out, you punk out. And then your friends try to help you get your life on track by getting you a job. Like, I'm working on the five. Sis, no one wants to work on the five for the rest of their life, but some work to get some money together so they don't, so they like, you know, invest in their, true passion dream and then take off and guess what they're not working the nine to five no more because bye now tony childs oh my goodness okay love sis sometimes she's a mood but she's colorist um yeah colorist and just very judgmental as a whole now i get it i don't mind women getting what they deserve they want someone that's financially stable um not to take care of them but just because they want to have nice things i don't mind black women wanting nice things because we deserve nice things now now we can all agree to that but but we do we have to be colors about it do we gotta be you know picking on the short men about it do we have to be um, I don't know, judging everybody and everyone who doesn't do what we want to do or what we like, that's the problem, that's the problem. So no, honestly, it's a lot of problems that run into, that Tony runs into. Now, I can't spoil anything for anybody, but yeah. And of course, we, we, we ain't gone past Maya, but this is a Maya Wilkes stand. You know, love me some Maya and Lynn, cause hello. But um, Maya, sis, you cheated on your husband when you could have just had a conversation like, hey, we're outgrowing each other. And you know, we were together since 17. You know, we were chilling, we were cooling, but 
I've surrounded myself with different people, see my, seen different things, see things that I'm not used to, and I like that, and I want to continue that, you know, but you're kind of holding me back because you keep saying something negative or putting it down because you're being a tad bit controlling. Now, that's really just the it. She just needs to say what she needs to say. Now, honestly, the whole show, why can't they ever be happy with being single? Like, Joan, literally asking all her friends, are you okay? Yet you know, we're at Valentine's Day and you don't have anybody, you just got out of it. Are you sure you okay? Joan, why they gotta be so wrong with them just because they ain't up under some dusty nigga for Valentine's Day or just in general? Just because you can't be alone does not mean that they are not okay with being alone. I don't know. I don't like how they make the women feel like they're, you know, spiraling if they're not with someone. And don't get me wrong, they're very career-driven women, um, you know, focused on what they want to do. Very versatile, multifaceted. They eat sushi, they go do yoga. They, you know, do the stuff that normally black women you would see them doing. But, Y'all had to make one character obsessed with marriage and obsessed with just having her life completed. And it's so irritating, but this is how women think. Some women, let's just say it. This is how some women think. And it's very sad. That's one thing I realized is that we are taught and we are trained, we are so groomed to be for someone. And if our lives, if our, we don't have someone in our lives, like we're not married, we don't have kids, if they feel like our life is not completely fulfilled. And that's not the case. So all I can say is I hope Joan learned how to fulfill herself before having a man in her life permanently. Um, Cause right now she's not fulfilled within herself and she's running everyone away from her. And sometimes she runs her friends away from her. But the thing is, since the show is girlfriends and they can't really do without any four of them, they just gotta have, they gotta have all of them on there. So, you know. But another thing that I realized is that some of these men on girlfriends are not as cute. Now, I understand it was the early 2000s and blah, 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 blah but <sighs> all right, y'all. And then I have another thing with Lynn. I'm gonna go back to Lynn, because, well, I love my good sis. Cool, cool, but sis, how are you in LA? And you have, for the majority of the time, you had no job, and you're able to go to these nice restaurants. And it was like, I know they're paying for you, but dang, girl, you look, you a better scammer than me. Look, I need some money. But, you know, and also, Tony, Tony, Tony. We realized that she has bigger and deeper problems. I'm not gonna spoil, but sis did not come from the best upbringing. And it's caused her to be so hard on herself and everyone around her who may think similar to where she's come from. Sad, but it's understandable. So, with all that to say is that Girlfriends is great. Y'all should watch it. Currently on season four, so I'm halfway through the entire series. And fun fact, if you watch Moesha and you watch the last season, um, you'll see that the person that plays Maya Wilkes, also known as Golden Brooks, is a cameo in Moesha as a babysitter for uh, Dorian's siblings, his actual real siblings. Yeah, I just spoiled some things. You probably be confused, but Maya Wilkes' character is in the, in the last season of Moesha as a cameo. So Girlfriends is a spinoff from Moesha talking about Maya talking about Maya. Fun fact, the game is a spinoff from Girlfriends, which Melanie, as we all know, med school, is cousin with Joan. And she makes an appearance towards the end of Girlfriends and it spins off and continues on with Melanie's life. So yeah, and also too, y'all probably know this, the Parkers is a spinoff from Alicia and it shows Kim's life going to Santa Monica Community College. So we love the black movie, TV show, world, universe. You know, we love it. It all comes like this. So look, that's a little fun fact I had to share with y'all. I'm about to get out of here, cause look, 
I ain't got nothing else to tell y'all. So that's really it. It's done. It's done. But don't forget, the Parkers come on. Speaking of the Parkers, they come on literally next week. And if you ain't watching the Parkers, what you doing? Because I'm about to watch the Parkers. I finished what we should. I'm about to finish Girlfriends. I'm about to watch the Parkers. Um, don't ask me to watch Sister Sister. I just wanted to see how it ended. So, no call from me. I want to see the ending. Um, yeah, that's really it. Stay flourishing, my friends.